What you guys got another video here for you on how to prepare a PC or a laptop for sale or recycling. Now if you have a laptop and you want to sell it on then it's important that you remove any sort of data that you've been storing on this laptop or PC. We're going to be using kill disk and you can create a bootable kill disk uh, USB flash drive for free. Uh, this will only give you one pass by the way, but if you want to be a little bit more professional it's always best to use free passes. But if you want to use the free version there is an active kill disk which you can download here. I will leave the link in the video description. This will allow you to do one uh, pass of the drive and it will zero the drive. Uh, myself personally I do think uh, it's best to do free passes and this way the data will be unrecoverable you will not be able to get any data back from that drive now you may be thinking this is all a bit paranoid well if someone gets back all your photographs or your data or anything like that uh, then it can be very risky they can start cloning your identity now you can see here the active kill disk professional for windows allows you to buy this and this will allow you to do as many passes as you want i.e up to 35 and you can see here the price is not that bad either this is not a sponsored video by active kill disk i just think it's a great product and it's a great way to wipe any sort of data from the drive so it's unrecoverable now you can see here you can plug this in once you've created your bootable usb flash drive with active kill disk on it uh, there is a tool that's built into their software suite which you can use and it's very simple and easy to do so if you want to see that process i've already made videos on how to do that so this is the laptop here and uh, what we're going to do is boot up the laptop and boot to this usb flash drive and then we can continue to wipe the entire drive and make sure it's completely sanitized now what you want to do here i like to basically wipe all the partition tables off the drive and make it unallocated space that's just the way i like to do it but it's entirely uh, up to you which way you go about doing it. Now I'm booting to my own uh, WinPE uh, disk here but uh, it's the same process I'll show you a close-up of what you need to look at uh, when you're wiping the drive. So I'm booting up to my version of WinPE with my tools on it uh, but you will uh, obviously be booting up to your uh, kill disk uh, type of tool which you've built with your USB flash drive okay. Now obviously if you're having trouble creating a bootable USB flash drive then there is helpful tutorials on their website. So this is the actual software here and you can see I've got a drive here. Now I'm not going to wipe the entire drive like I've told you to do uh, because obviously the time element involved. I'm just going to wipe a small partition here of say 50 gigabytes but you should be wiping the entire drive completely clean and you can see how confusing it is when there's loads of partitions on there I like to just delete all of these and make it unallocated space and then just wipe that unallocated space which will be the entire uh, drive and it's a lot more easier uh, to do it that way and that, that way it will do sector by sector and I would advise you to do complete free passes on there but you see me taking the ticks out here and the reason why I'm doing this obviously is for uh, speed and tutorial purposes but you really want to select the whole drive itself and completely um, sanitize the whole drive once you've got that all selected click kill and it will give you the erase methods which you can use now if you're using the free version you will be restricted to one pass zeros that's all you'll be allowed to do on the free version now if you're using the professional version you'll be able to do any version of a uh, race method on there and I'm going to be using the US uh, Dodd uh, method which is a free pass with a verification of 10% and uh, that's what I'm going to do and you can select whatever you want here now if you're running this as a business then obviously you can get a certificate printed out and give that to the customer to show them that you have destroyed all the data on that drive there's other versions here like US Army and you can see here right up to Gutterman which is 35 passes which will take an absolute age to complete and it's probably way overkill for what you need. No one is going to get any data back with the free pass uh, DOD method. It's the Ministry of Defence and that's pretty much as good as you need to be. Now there's some other options here available if you want to play with these you can do. As a business you may want to mess around with some of these uh, but as a, just a home user 
uh, if you're selling your laptop then something like default settings is good enough with a free pass overwrite on that drive now this can be also done with solid state drives and mechanical drives and you can see here uh, there's some other certificate options available to you if you're more on the professional side of things you can get the path put this to your usb flash drive and of course it will save a certificate which you can then print out with your logo and your information on it and stuff like that and give that to the customer and of course i've got some other options available so i've got my uh dodd us dodd uh selected here which is a free pass with some 10 percent verification and also i'm going to now type in uh, the command which is erase dash all dash data in capitals and this will tell the uh, software to run and erase all the data on that drive okay now you can see i'm only doing a partition here but you should be doing the whole drive and completely sanitize that drive so how long is this going to take well this will depend on the erasing method that you chose so obviously the more overwrites that you do the longer it's going to take so for instance we've done three passes here that means it has to do three passes of every sector to make sure that's completely wiped now again another thing will be how many gigabytes you've got or how many terabytes you've got okay and this will determine how long it will take there is other options available i.e you could replace the drive with a brand new drive and uh, obviously sell it with a brand new drive which means there'll be no data on it or you could take the drive out altogether and sell it on with no drive uh, which a lot of people do or you could also destroy the drive and sell it with no drive as well and that way if you don't want to keep the drive you can get rid of it and destroy it this way or completely drill holes for it or something like that and it will um, destroy any data on that drive now obviously this is entirely up to you uh, but personally if you're selling the computer on as a working computer then you need to erase the data on it i do think the free pass method is probably the minimum you should be thinking about doing in my personal opinion and this way it will stop anyone recovering any data on that drive so once you've completed this you will get a certificate and uh, if you're not interested in that you don't need to worry about the certificate it will just say passed and if you stop it early it will say fail and uh, once you've completed this you can get your usb flash drive and make that bootable with Windows 10 or Linux and then you can install that onto your laptop now if you're recycling the laptop and you don't want to keep it anymore and it's going to the recycle yard then obviously uh, you just want to wipe this and you don't need to put windows on it but if you are uh, thinking about doing that and you don't want to leave your drive in there then just remove the drive and destroy the drive itself with some uh, drill holes in it and something like that or a sanding belt and then just uh, get some uh, tim snips and uh, cut the platters into little pieces and you should be good to go from there now obviously if you are selling this to a customer and it's going on eBay or Facebook marketplace or something like that it's important that you wipe the whole drive completely and I would say three passes is a minimum that you should do don't do any more than that it's a bit overkill three passes will make the drive unrecoverable you won't be able to recover any data from that drive and you should be okay and your personal information should be safe Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this has been useful to you and helpful. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.